Hey guys, Bodie. Hey guys, the face of horrors voting is in is less than 18 hours by now. Tomorrow is September 6th at 10 a.m. PDT time. I am so excited. Will I become the next face of horrors? Oh, will I win <sighs> a photo shoot with Jane Hooter, who is Jason? Uh, basically, a celebrity photo shoot. Um, will I win a two page spread in Rue Mod Magazine? Will I win a, a two night stay at an iconic movie? Uh, scene location and and a, and thirteen thousand dollars and horror movie I don't know every movie fan who's entering is probably thinking that either the phrase if I win or when I win at this point for me it's when I win if you watch too many movies you probably understand why well less than 18 hours the volume will begin and I am not sure how many of you are out there supporting me in this voting I know I have my family support and my friends support on Facebook and Instagram. Well, I'm not sure entirely. Do my I do have my friends from Instagram and yeah, from Instagram, yes. But so far, I don't know. Hey. This is really, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, if you click on my profile, which I'll be putting in the description below, they had us answer three questions for our profile, but I wanted to share them to you anyway in this video. Well, the reason I want to is to explain more about it because well we all know that we can't always put everything in a certain amount of words and plus the rules say that you can share your profile as many times as you want to as many friends as you want social medias and that's what I've been doing. It's just I keep forgetting to do it for you too. So here I am on YouTube and of course I'm planning to share it. And the first one was tell us why you would be would make it to the end of the whole movie. Mine was probably would be able to think of all the possibilities and be cautious. Well, when you hear that, you're probably thinking of that type of character is in any movie. Well, yeah, I probably yeah I was probably thinking the same thing. Yeah, after thinking about it for a while, but one in particular I was thinking, even though he died in the se in the sequel, <laughs> it was um Eddie from it. Um, reason I thought of that is because he overthinks a lot. He really, really, really overthinks. But, but he was really mostly overthinking in the um flashbacks of It Chapter 2. Uh, but, yeah. 
when I first watched it, I was not expecting his death to happen like that. And being cautious, um, well, yes, there's many movies, characters that you could refer to like that, but at the same time, it is a personality, and overthinking is a personality too. Um, let's just say, um, I don't, I am very overthinkative and very cautious when it comes to people being in the kitchen. Um, so, yeah, I can be cautious and think, overthink a lot. <laughs> Especially when I'm in a, currently in a situation and I'm um, like talking, 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 and um, talking, talking, and all the possibilities. So, yeah. And I don't know, last time when I was like, please, please let me in, please let me in, please let me in. And I was thinking, how can I be this character in a movie helping? I survive, think of a plan again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Damn, that was a good imagine. That was good thing. That was a good imagination there. <gasps> okay. Um, what I was, what I was daydreaming about. Um, basically dozing off, but um. Okay, it was me and these few other survivors, like four of us, and there was like a big paper, and um, okay, okay, this is another one, okay, me surviving, not only did I answer in the question about thinking of all possibilities and be cautious, um, the part of being cautious when I was dozing off in this daydreaming of thinking of an escape plan. I was using simple words and doodles. Like I didn't like I was being cautious of possibly where could the killer be. <coughs> like I literally had us in like the center of the room like I had us in the center of the room. I had a piece of furniture Maybe three feet, if three or four feet from the doors, and um, and like the current, like the curtains were closed, but at the same time open. Like the first layer was covering the windows, but the second layer was not. It's so if anyone tried again, they would get caught in the curtains, so we would have a better chance to, so we would have a few second heads up to get out. Anyway, we had a paper, and I had this, I had something to draw on. Well, okay, instead of writing the word here, I was doing it in like, in a way that they didn't understand me. In other words, a little made of language. And then there was just that word I put in. And then I did this little doodles. Like the center was here, but in a different language. And then I put me in as a one shape. And then I and then the others I did like something else. And the house I went boom 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 boom. They're like lines, and they're like, what the fuck? And I'm like, simple words, shush, don't talk too much, simple, shh, simple, shh. <laughs> and then as we were going out, we were doing a certain way of sneaking past because there were doors on the stairs, so <laughs> we were like, door. Like, we walked by a door and we got like that. One, 
well, the one in front of the door does that, and then one of us, like, looks over the stairs, and one looks in the front, and one looks in the back, with the weapons, whenever one of us is speaking, we talk simple, talk simple, Okay, and the second question for this profile that we had to do is what's your favorite hall quote? There are so many. There are so many favorite hall quotes. The thing is, I'm not sure if they just want Friday the 13th or what, because, um, damn. Like, um, the fact that there is so much phrases like phrases I like and I'm not talking about the ones the only ones I can remember is the ones I can portray or the ones I constantly repeat while watching the movie oh no not like this okay a third one was is how will you use Thirteen thousand dollars. Okay. Now this time is different. Um, maybe two thousand and twelve. I was given a thousand dollars to spend on however I wanted. At first, I was doing a plan to split it up, but then I took my mom's advice seriously and to use it on myself and I got carried away um, learned my lesson there so this time um I'm going what I originally wanted to do and that's to share it well my sister owns a salon which she originally done in her house more like a basement but the demands got so high that she had to move to a location in a in a mall in a strip mall, not a strip strip, but Strikers Crossing Mall. But the fact that she had it to move so quickly, she still has no sign, and every a lot of people are constantly demanding that she should get a sign. But they don't understand just how expensive that is. So, out of the 13000 6000 is going to go to her for her sign. To help her out. And whatever is left out of that 6000 Because I'm pretty sure there's an option for less than that. She doesn't want to get a fancy one, but the mall is demanding her to get a light up one. But people are just demanding her to get a sign. Because they're like, we can't see you. That's the whole reason why you have a car, is so you can drive. But how did you pass your license? If you can't see some, if you can't see... Anyway, um, if there's leftover of that 6000 for my sister for her um, salon sign, then she gets to use the rest of it for whatever she wants. Whatever she wants. She basically deserves it. All that whole work she did for the salon. All that whole work. Yeah, a lot. And as for the rest, um, Let's see, 13 minus 6, um, um, let's see, okay, so 7, although that probably doesn't sound much when I say that I'm going to split the 7,000 in half. The first half is going to go to supporting my family, and the other half, it's going to go towards my education and the hard work that's required for my dreams in film. The thing is, if I win, 
Some will be used to take my family along for the two nights stay at the film location where Silence of the Lambs was filmed. The Bill's house. See what I mean about I'm not going to be reckless about it this time? And why, you may ask? Well... Well, my half, well, if you, well, if you want to ask about why my half, it's, well, for starters, my history of education was lousy. The, ed the ed education industry vowed to teach people, to teach their students and to help them through it through the course of learning and you're not you're never too old to learn or to go back to school well the district that I began at broke those promises um, I was once a a a rank honored student who attended as many activities as I possibly can. No matter what it was, even the ones that I failed so quickly, so fast, that you probably would be able to say Super Califetches, Seattle Doshes, at once. Or twice. Anyway, I was probably the happiest person and grateful to be alive and to and grateful and happiest person to achieve to receive all these opportunities and use them at the earliest opportunity possible to reach the dreams that I always wanted and then it falls down as soon as I become labeled with a medical um, disability and then, since then, at school has gone downhill until eventually they decide to just leave me. Um, basically, they broke their vow to be there for the student and teach them to the very end. I left. And went back because, well, you're never too old to go back to school and you're never too old to learn. So, 2010, I went back high school years. I enjoyed the adventures and it was eventually until 2014 that I was starting to want to not want to be there want to not want to be at school I liked my second high school a lot better I wanted to stay but I couldn't but they wouldn't let me so they basically failed to listen to the student at that point. In 2015, that's when they finally decided to fail, to fail in 
helping the students completely. So my half of the money, I want to use it to re-educate myself while at the same time use it you um get new education of what is required to be in the film industry. As for the half that I want to use to support my family, um well I'm not the only disabled one in the family. Basically all of us are. So and it's not that easy to it's not easy for a family to live <laughs> like that. It's not easy at all. Especially um, with food prices going high, everything going high, and um, let's just say there's a lot. And basically why most of this money is not going to me. It's going to my family. I mainly want the experience that this prize is going to give me. That's all I want from this is the experience. To meet John Holder, Holder, who's Jason, and well, the film set of Silence of the Lambs, The Two Nights Day, which to me that's bonus, and the horror movie, The Money. Well, it's nice. That uh, I can have a start of my education, excuse me, but it's mainly going to my family. So that's my reasons. If anyone was asking why I signed up, for me, it's mainly for a actual fun experience. And well. Let's just call it a bucket list and a dream, a dream goal as well. Pretty sure everybody wants to meet an awesome person and try to experience what it's like to be in a movie. Other than that, most of this money is not going to me. It's going to my family. Anyway, in 17 hours, the voting will begin. My prof face of heart profile will be on all my social medias YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and I hope you vote for me thank you thank you for watching this movie and thank you very much if you do vote for me tomorrow September 6 at 10 a.m. PDT Thank you. Have a nice day or night. Bye.